Red for Ferrari and blue for the French. Away we go then. That's the 57 of William Lyon and the 65 of Mark Leonard. That's a Porsche Abarth Carrera and the 1960, that's 61 and 65 Alfa Romeo GTA 1600 racing down there into the hairpin. Looks like the Alfa's gonna get the better of the Porsche on the inside. As we move around the hairpin, looks like Alfa Romeo of Mark Leonard jumps out to Whoa. an early lead. Door to door mid pack Absolutely. there. Absolutely. It's a great battle. So off and running through turn three and into four. Field starting to spread out here. And as you say, William Lyon at the front in that above Carrera, 1961. Actually, now, I believe that's Mark just, Leonard that's yeah, up front there. Yeah. Actually, he's got yeah. the Alfa Romeo GTA, so he's got a ahead. And it is the 57 of William Lyon. There he is, behind him in the silver. And then the 961 of Ed Matsuisi. We uh, spoke to him earlier in the day. Didn't we? I believe we might have, yeah. Uh, really, you know, big game of the enthusiasm. Shut the door yep, big time. On, on Matt there. And uh, was, uh, as they're both going to drive up the hill, the porch grew. And, um, nice train of cars heading up the hill here. Beautiful shots from our drones up ahead. That's a great view of the corkscrew. You really get to see the, the length and breadth of it from there. We're used to seeing this tight shot, and it's a fantastic, iconic shot. But I do like to see it from above like that. Yeah, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. It gives a, a whole new perspective. Because as you said, this is a shot we've seen for 50, 60 years uh, of them coming down the corkscrew. What I love about the 356 is you can see where it stands in history. It's not a 911, but it ain't far off. Uh, or it, you can see where the 911 came from. But also